Welcome to fucking Australia, where we have ants the size of rocks. G'day mate, how the fuck are ya? Today we're in a little town called Marysville and we found this road just out of the town. Pretty much, we want to take a couple of photos here today, obviously, because, you know, why the fuck would you not want to photograph this? And I've got a few photo ideas, one of which involves this umbrella. So pretty much what I want to do is find some leaves around here, put the, put the leaves like inside the umbrella, and then quickly twist it the other way around. And while someone's wearing this red jacket, all these leaves are gonna fall down below them. And it's just, it's just gonna look fucking sick, like, just trust me. And then obviously we'll set the drone up, get a couple of shots here and there. Um, I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna shoot uh, some photos for the phone cases as well here. I'm basically gonna show you how to edit the photos as well. So this is an editing tutorial and a vlog today about doing this shit. So let's get shooting. Ah, so wet and yuck. So right now I'm just thinking we're, we're about to set up the shop for the umbrella. I think we should walk about halfway down because we want a nice sort of even spread of the trees on both sides of the image. I'm going to put my 85 mil on for the shot because I want to get like a really nice compression that an 85 mil gives off. Especially when you're trying to take portraits and everything, I think that if you use a lens with a higher millimeter range or a higher range to give off some better compression, it actually shows the most natural look as well. 50 millimeter on a crop sensor or 70 millimeter on uh, a full frame camera will actually give you the most natural look that you get with your eyes. Stand a tiny bit, just so you're centered. Yeah. Alright bro, I'm ready when you are. In three, two, one. Oh, that was sick. Oh, look at this. Holy shit. Look at that. Oh, fuck. How cool is that? <laughs> this is going to be such a good edit. That was a successful photo shoot. Everyone got the shots they wanted. I'm ready to go get a pie and a coffee. love it when a plan just comes together or a photo shoot comes together when you go out you have a set location you have an idea you go out you execute it and you come back home and it all just fits really nicely i'm happy that worked out today anyway you know we haven't done an editing tutorial in a little while so this is actually be a good refresher for me so obviously i'll open up the image up in lightroom like we got here and you know have a look at this like i probably could have shot at a bit higher shutter speed but i kind of actually like the movement in the leaves itself I don't mind that. All right, that's just my way of justifying that I fucked it up and I probably should have shot a higher shutter speed. But anyway, first thing I'm gonna do is, I actually just, I'm just gonna come across to my presets and see if any of them are actually gonna work, all right? And don't go, oh, he's gonna plug his presets. Right, well, I am gonna fucking plug my presets actually because it's my product and I'm allowed to do that, all right? So I'm gonna bring the exposure down a little bit. See what the highlights are doing here. We can bring back, a, a, bring back quite a lot of uh, what's in the sky up here. You can see that the blues are in the sky up here, so that's gonna be really nice. Uh, we're gonna come over to the tone curve right now, and I'm gonna do an S curve. And what an S curve is, is basically you draw like a bend. So the top of the tone curve here, they come up. These are the highlights, and these are your shadows. And an S curve is basically you're gonna bring these up and uh, bring these down. So I'm gonna do that for every single one of these colors here, and then we'll come back to RGB. <laughs> So as you can see, that's obviously dramatically changed the image and the tone curve is pretty self-explanatory. It just puts tones into image and by tones, it's more or less like an advanced version of contrast, right? If you find that your image is already too contrasty, you can actually just come up to your contrast and like bring it out um, as a collective completely. Uh, and also we're gonna come back into the actual RGB here and I'm gonna bump up the highlights a little bit and actually bring down the shadows. Don't worry, we're gonna fix all the rest of it. And we're gonna bring up the fade here as well. Just, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna bring the actual shadows of the image up quite a lot as well. So about maybe, maybe 65%. 
I'm gonna take a bit more contrast out because those yellows are fucking hectic. Now the ground is looking very green, so you gotta fix that by, you sort of slightly gotta adjust, and this might take a bit of time, just adjusting the very slight, look, look how much of a difference this makes by putting that down and pulling that up. Right, this might seem very advanced, but over time, you, you, you're really gonna have to play around and figure it out, and this is a really good way to refine your editing skills. You wanna sort of play around with each sort of thing, like depending on what kind of image you're editing, obviously, but for this particular one, we're just gonna play around with the reds here because that's affecting the greens the most, so I'm gonna bring them up a tiny bit, and also come into the greens and the colors, and I'm just sort of gonna fuck around with the colors until I'm happy with them. All right, cool. Next step, my favorite thing to do is bring the subject focus in. Come over to your radial filter right here. We're gonna click on that bad boy and we're gonna draw a fat oval just around Liam here with his umbrella. And we're pretty much just gonna bring the exposure down. Not a hectic amount for this image because it doesn't really need a lot of vignetting. Fuck around with the oranges as well. Honestly, like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna actually gonna be straight up here. I don't really know what I'm doing most of the time when I make these and I actually just uh, guess on the spot while I do these editing tutorials. So I hope uh, I hope you're learning, honestly, if you're sitting at home. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is uh, a bit fucked. But anyway, yeah, actually, you know what? Liam taught me about this one. If you bring some clarity out of the image, actually, and I, I like actually bringing a bit of clarity out of my images for nature shots as well. So, and I'm gonna duplicate this one. I'm gonna invert it. I'm gonna bring the exposure up a little bit, shadows up, and a tiny bit more saturation, I reckon. I don't really think we need the more oranges there. So far, looking pretty good. What happens if we bring some shadows down yeah actually you know what if we bring some shadows down oh i'm liking this okay wait bring the shadows back down i love a bit of shadows the radial filter that's um got it's affecting the inside let's bring more shadows out of the inside of it oh yeah here we fucking go all right oh, yeah this is looking fucking gangster fuck yeah oh have a look at that grab the brush tool here and then i'm just gonna brush around here press o to see what you're brushing and let's just let's just try something i'm gonna brush the ground here something like that really rough because i'm just trying it out and I'm gonna bring the exposure down and clarity up. I don't wanna put clarity in the whole image, I just wanna put clarity where it's necessary, which is the asphalt there, because that's already really sort of dirty and you can kind of see a lot of detail out of the road, so you wanna bring that detail out by using clarity. You know what, I reckon that's done. And what we can do here, if we come to the other images as well, right, if you've got like a set of images, so I've got this one, this one, but if you select all of these, Command Shift S, I'm gonna Click that, local adjustments, click that, synchronize. And that's gonna synchronize the ground too as well. So here we go, bang, 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 bang. After we did this photo shoot actually, I came back again the next day with my mate Nick and we brought out his blue wrapped GT3 RS. This thing's a fucking weapon. Oh my God, have a look at some of these photos right here. Bro, how fucking sick is that? Look at the contrast there. This is one of, one of my favorite car shoots, I reckon. The location, just everything. Like he's doing the, the peace sign out of the fucking car and stuff, that, that's fucking cool. This one right here, look at the before and after, right? Using my presets. Coming back to this umbrella shot, you know, if you wanna try this photo, I would love to see your edits on it. And if you do go out and shoot, a, do a photo shoot like that, Please tag me at North Borders because I do actually want to see your edits and how you can, like, where your creative difference is and how you sort of go out and photograph something like this. I'd love to see it. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope I taught you something new today. If you did like today's video, consider liking and subscribing to my channel. It's up to you. Well, with that all said and done, I will see you in the next one. Yeah. <laughs> He loves me.